<laughs> that was awesome. I mean, I I think it was awesome. <laughs> Yay! Um, and after after hearing that, I feel really bad to come on here and confess that Nevermind is my least favorite Nirvana album. <laughs> because what happened was um, this this older guy that I knew named Christian gave me a tape of Bleach when it came out because he just converted to CDs and he was like technological and I wasn't and I loved Bleach and then I like and and then like later Nevermind came out and by that time I've been I I'd kind of like gotten into all of these like underground radical queer separatist movements even though I wasn't gay and I was just like you know cool um, and. <laughs> And, the, and then, like, there were all of these songs like Pollyanna, and, and subtlety is not something that comes naturally to, like, born-again queer anarchist people. Um, except for the really cool ones, which I wasn't, because, you know, I was, like, 12. Um, and, and, so I, and so I hated Polly, but then later, um, Trent Reznor and Closer came out, so I was back to liking Kurt Cobain and hating Trent Reznor. Um, and then a bunch of shit went down, and, like, I kind of associated... Nirva or that album, um, Nevermind, which we're here to celebrate, with, like, frat guys who I also hated, and, um, and but, but then Incesticide came out, and I read the liner notes, and I, and, and he talked about the song, and I was like, okay, Kurt, we're friends again. Um, and then we put on dresses and kissed each other. <laughs> this is called Polly. You weren't even born your own person, half son. Half star. Your first word was bird. Overheard because of the way your mother eats or the things your father hunts. Later you were later you will de later you will develop similar habits. Little facts will escape you like worms on the run in the morning. It will never occur to you that servants have names. Food comes from fields and forests and animals. The word for please is now. And none of these things you parent will be your fault. Like fathers, like sons, the Xerox just a little less clear each time. That's not the depth of your crime. No. Your crime started the day you expected other people to think like you. The click of your tongue, a metronome, punishing anyone who couldn't keep up. Teachers, partners in tag and dodgeball, supermarket cashiers, dates, people who were more like vending machines or other machines. Patience for explanations is not one of your better traits. Emotions are like stop signs to you, and a stop sign is only a suggestion. So that's why when, at our first meeting, I taste your fist in my mouth like a surprise hamburger, my blood like ketchup, your spit raining down on top like sesame seeds, I try not to take it personally. Later, talking to my best friend, you say it was just playing. You say you like how everything I say is a joke. I'm a funny guy, you say. I'm a funny guy. And she takes this as a compliment. Later, my best friend kisses you. Maybe because you have taken such an interest in me. Maybe because she's sick of being with guys who are, you know, good for her. Or maybe this is my best friend's way of being a rebel by not being a rebel. One day you'll be over it. Learn to get along with the world or learn to hide how much you hate it. We'll disappear from each other's lives for ten years. Show up at a party, a reunion. Maybe you'll see me being funny on Please God, Please Broadway or Please God, No, your own Adam Sandler, Dane Clark. I'm not Dane Cook. Sorry, I don't know him that well. Adam Sandler, Dane Cook. I'm not special, but I can fake it show. We can fake friendship. Pretend you didn't beat me up or that beating me up was the worst you did. We'll shake hands like old friends. You'll pump too hard. I'll release too fast. Not because I'm weak, and not so I can get away from you, but because you have forgotten our battle exists, and because I have learned to keep quiet until I'm ready to attack. Thanks.